Hi True Hope, I'm Angela Sanchez and I get to do today's devotional with you. Um, if you haven't already um, checked out Rachel's devotional from yesterday, check that out. Uh, it was really good um, just starting off the week and addressing our topic for the week, expectancy versus doomsday mentality as we're in this re-entry series. Um, she read through Hebrews 11, uh, it was 1 through 16, and I'm going to do Hebrews 11, 17 through 31. And tomorrow, um, someone else is going to uh, take the section after that. So it's, it's just cool diving in deeper to these scriptures and having kind of different perspectives take each section and address it. I just really love it. Um, Hebrews is just a book full of just so much goodness, so much meat. And um, Hebrews 11 is really all about faith. Um, and so go ahead and read the scripture today if you haven't already. Like I said, 11, 17 through 31. And just going off where Rachel ended yesterday, um, she started to kind of mention some of the, the saints in the word um, that lived by faith. And this section that I'm covering really goes into that. The author just starts addressing all these people of faith um, and what they did. And so I don't have time to read all of it, but let's look at a couple of them, starting in verse 17. By faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac. And he who had received the promise was in the act of offering up his only son, of whom it was said, through Isaac shall your offering be named. He considered that God was able even to raise him from the dead, from which, figuratively speaking, he did receive him back. So, I mean, that's just a great example of faith, right? I mean, Abraham was promised he'd be the father of, like of nations like he that look at the number of the stars like that's the number of your descendants the number of sand and you know on the beaches um and he didn't have any kids for a long time um they were getting really old him and his wife and 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 they had faith in that situation and isaac was born and now god is telling him to take up isaac and sacrifice him as an offering um and Abraham didn't argue. He he did what he was told because he had faith. He knew the promise that God had made, that he said it would be through Isaac, and he knew that God is the keeper of promises. And so even if he did die, he believed God would raise him again. That's incredible faith. Um, and the scripture just goes on. It mentions more people. It mentions Moses. It mentions Jacob and Joseph. And um, the um, when the people crossed the Red Sea and uh, Rahab and how she was saved by faith, like all these saints who recognized the promise of God and were in really hard situations, but kept moving forward because of their faith in the things that God had promised. And some of these people didn't see the promises fulfilled necessarily. Um, these promises were fulfilled after they had passed on from this life. Um, I love this verse 26. It's talking about Moses, that he claimed his heritage, that he didn't want to be called um, the, let's see, called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He wanted to be known as one of God's people. And it says, even though it says, he chose rather to be mistreated with the people of God than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. He considered the reproach of Christ greater wealth than the treasures of Egypt, for he was looking to the reward. That basically sums it up right there. As Christians, we are not told that we will escape suffering in this life. Um, many of us know that, like we've experienced that firsthand. Um, but we are promised that we have a reward waiting for us, that we have a hope and a future that's brighter than this. And that's what gets us through. Um, right now, 
things are tough. Look around our country. I mean, people are hurting. People are scared. People are being mistreated. People are being abused. People, they're, they're suffering. And it's hard. Even if your circumstances don't feel as big as someone else, in your own way, you are experiencing hurt and hardship and struggling. And even just re-entry after this quarantine has been difficult for me. Um, I was excited for it and now that it's happening, it feels stressful because a lot of it is still unknown and it's different. Um, and for and various other reasons. It's just, it's scary and it's okay to be scared. But we have to remember as Christians that we have a promise that God is bigger than all of this. There's reward waiting for us in heaven. And so to cling to our faith like these saints did and that's the legacy we'll leave behind of faith, of people who believe in God and trust in God and live their life uh, following that belief. And so I just encourage you this week to really call out your faith, call out the promises God has made to you and really just walk in, in peace and trust of that. And so I just look forward to seeing you guys as we're getting back in person and meeting. It's been such a blessing and um, hope you guys have a great week.